This is the second project of the year from rapper Joyner Lucas, who dropped, in my opinion, the worst album of the year bar none with ADHD, a repugnant, repulsive rap album with generic beats, extremely superficial songs, and some of the most out-of-touch lyrics I have heard from a rapper who is only 32 years of age. Which goes to show you that being a boomer is not about how old you are, but your mentality. Joyner kicked off his career with massive interest and hype after his 2017 mixtape, and still pulls in huge numbers on his singles, so it's not like his career or popularity are fizzling out. However, I think creatively he hit a huge brick wall and is struggling to get around it, especially after his last album. So with this album, while it's not repelling in any way, for me it was just really boring. While Joyner does exhibit some hip-hop boomerisms on the album, mostly his questionable lyrics, he sometimes tries to use them to juxtapose his evolution as a person in changing his ways, like on the track The Problem, where even though he admits his fault in playing with the emotions of a woman he loves by being around other women, he still manages to be incredibly condescending of those women despite the fact it was his choice and they really had nothing to do with it, which I guess is <laughs> impressive in its own right. You also have these politically and racially charged tracks fresh off of the BLM protests, and I appreciate their sentiment, especially on things I've seen, where he addresses how underprotected and unfairly black women are treated, especially by black men, but musically it does not do anything to warrant me giving it another listen, and I can say that about most of the track list here, they're not flat out terrible like ADHD but they're not the most interesting, especially given how god-awful the skits are here. The only track that really caught my ear was Snitch. I think this is a track in response or in reaction to 6 ix incarceration, where Joyner is citing two sides of being a snitch, one where you are breaking an unwritten code to those around you, and risk going to prison to preserve that bond and that honor, and the other side where you are giving yourself a chance at freedom because the people asking you to stay quiet are backstabbers anyway, so a code is just one-sided bullshit. This is probably the most thoughtful track on the album. There were others I enjoyed, but those were more by association, not really something I would come back to. But for the rest of the album, I just listened to it with a blank expression on my face, and I would just end up repeating myself if I talk about the album anymore. Long story short, it's pretty tedious. If you like Joyner, maybe you'll dig this. That's probably the only demographic I would really recommend this to. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down below, and I will see you in the next video. I'd give it a...